What's going on Axie fam, Elijah here back with another video and today I have one that I am thrilled to make and I'm hoping this is going to help all of you out there because Arena is pretty insane right now. I'm going to be discussing this disgusting, broken, hideous Axie that is flooding the arena and try to give you some insight on how you can beat it, okay? So I know that when you first start coming into contact with this, it feels like there's no way out, but perhaps I can provide a solution that you can substitute out an Axie, particularly your backliner, uh, and be in much better shape when you run into the Reflectile. Now this is the strongest version you can get, 39 speed. It's probably the most expensive battle Axie on the market at 0.27 Ethereum. A lot of the people you find in Arena though are gonna have this at 40 speed or you know 39 maybe with bug eyes or ears. This is the creme de la creme, max HP, max speed. I probably don't need to go through the moveset as I'm certain that you've already run into this, but basically infinite damage, reflect, and energy versus most axes because of how slow you are and absurd damage with tiny dino in the late game as well. So without further ado, I'm going to jump right into the team that I've been using, which has helped me break through into the top 1000. And now I'm very close to getting past the top 500. Haven't been playing a whole lot, but I will admit it's been very tough trying to chew my way through this axe and in arena, I might go like five or six games in a row where I'm facing a reflectile on the back line. It's like absolutely insane. I've never seen anything quite like it. The closest that I can remember to this is when Terminator's 46 speed first came out and they were everywhere. But in my opinion, this is far worse. So I'm hoping this again will help you guys get through the busted and cheesy reflectile that is everywhere. Okay, so this is my team, right? Up front, I've got Gota, Sandal, Cactus, nice shield, great damage, and an energy destroy. Of course, Cattail, very valuable versus all the mech and the other bug beast damage that's on a lot of plants these days. Midline, we have a shrimp aqua, but notice how I have risky beast. The reason for that, I just need a little extra bug damage to get through tanks. If this was all aqua cards, I feel like I'd be lacking a little bit of that. However, nothing wrong with having full aqua cards here. I've seen that work as well. I think Zero is playing that right now in MT8. So if this was like Blue Moon on the back, I'd be okay with that as well. On the back line, I've got a hot soon plant. I love this thing. It's so beefy and durable in the 1v1. Mosquito, which I think is superior to Zigzag these days because of how well this fares on Reflectiles. You gain almost 100 health because bug cards have a class advantage, which is huge. Zigzag, you'd be gaining a lot less health each time you hit the reflectile. So let's jump into a replay and I will like explain how to go about it with this team. Now, here's the thing. When you face this Axie, you're going to see it with all kinds of stuff at the midline. To be honest, it doesn't even really matter that much what's at the mid. It can be a mech. It can be an aqua. I've even seen like double reptile builds. Really, you know, the goal with uh, the opponent here is just to get into a 2v1 situation where he can gain energy with Kataro and then, you know, basically beat any Axie on the back line 1v1, except for perhaps something like what I have here with the plant. And we're gonna get to see that in action. So round two, I unleash the full clip. I figure, you know, I gotta get value out of these cards now. What's weird though, it's kind of awkward because I don't have any other good cards to follow up with. I just have like Mosquito, which I don't really wanna play right now because I'm not gonna get any healing value out of it. I have no Aqua cards. So I take like a bit of an uncomfortable uh, play here and just do the plant cards knowing I'm probably gonna lose some energy to a Sirius or a Gota, which is what in fact happens. Now I have three energy, I think he has five. And again, look at my hand, it's just like busted. What am I supposed to do? I, I don't have any great moves with this three energy. So after a lot of consideration, I buckle and just decide to play what I can, which is the Piranha, the Gota, uh, and the Cattail, as well as the Cactus as a follow-up. I'm just trying to guarantee I kill this plant. And I also know I'm gonna lose energy to the Gotas from this mid, so there's no point in saving. I just go for it. Uh, luckily, I kill the Aqua pretty easily. I don't get any value out of my front plant, and I also don't get any value out of the Cactus. So all in all, not a phenomenal round, but the plant is out of the way, which is good. Now heading into round four, I have two energy, he has uh, three. And I'm not loving my position here. I'm like feeling pretty far behind. I know he's gonna get uh, another energy here from his Kataro. He's getting another card with Hero as well. I play the two Aqua cards. I'm trying to chip away at this mech. And there you go, he's gonna go back up to three. I'm gonna have two. And also his mech is now faster from Arco, 
which is really unfortunate. I try to get away with one here and play the Aqua card to kill for cheap, hoping he's out of mech cards. In game, I was thinking like, I've seen him play a full clip on his mech and then another few cards in the following round. So I'm just thinking maybe he's dry and only has like one hair or one Gota, in which case I would have survived or at least gone into last stand. But nope, unfortunately, he's got three cards. My Aqua is useless, gains another card, and I don't even kill him with this cactus. So he's gonna have three energy, his mech is still alive, it gets worse and worse, he draws perfectly, three mech cards, I'm just like, are you kidding? I'm still not gonna kill this mech, which is tragic, and, uh, you know, I do play the Mosquito to heal up a little bit, and the two Bidens, but this is getting quite frustrating, not gonna lie. However, you know me, I'm never gonna give up in an Axie battle, I'll fight till the end, and now I lose my last energy to Gota. However, both of these mosquitoes go through and we can see even versus a mech I'm getting 83 health from this as opposed to zigzag where I'm not even gonna get 60 health So all things considered he has three energy I have two but this is where we're gonna get to see this backliner shine the beauty of this is how slow my plant is It removes this deadly Kataro value that they normally get versus any other axie pretty much where they just cycle this with the high shield the high damage infinite energy absolutely insane here I have a chance to stall and to heal up and make life difficult we're gonna see he goes for the aggression sensing that I'm pretty weak but I play both mosquitoes to ensure that I live and that I can rejuvenate a little bit and be safer in the following round. Also, I throw a Bidens in there for extra shield. Now I have 260 health, you know, I'm feeling okay. I was keeping track of energy as well. I knew he had two here and I even considered that he could do this and play two Indian stars. I was okay with that because I know that the net positive of two mosquitoes here is really worth it. I'm gonna actually gain over 100 health from this even though he's reflecting damage. It's okay because I have a really great shield, 129 shield, and we're gonna see that I'll go from 260 health to I think over 360. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, 383, which is fantastic. That's 123 health that I was able to gain and we both stayed equal on energy. So now I'm cool with just doing that again, okay? Maybe I could have gone with like single mosquito and cactus here for some extra damage, like anticipating a pass by him, but I'm feeling like I can win this, uh, heal all the way back up, kind of cycle through that if I have to. Now that I know he has four energy, I'll probably be a little more cautious. I think I go with, uh, no, actually I just do it again. Two mosquitoes, tons of shield, tons of um, rejuvenation from healing up. And we go from 146, all the way back up to 338. And now Blood Moon is kicking in and he's hurting 27 HP, two energy. I can just double Cactus here for the heck of it. He can't kill me with two energy. And we're gonna book a W in a game that was looking very unfavorable for us. And this is a great example of what a plant backliner can do for you. So what I wanna say in this video is, let's say you're running a double Aqua build, right? You can consider switching out this backliner for a multitude of plant backline axes. For instance, you have this with zigzag. I mean, mosquito is probably preferred again, like I said, but that could totally work versus a reflectile. You have the hot soon plant that I just showcased. If you throw that back there, you still have a really nice balanced team. You don't necessarily need that shrimp midliner I'm using. You can even have a mech at the midline here, right? So I'm just trying to give you options and adjustments, small ones that you can make and not have to spend too much money, but perhaps have a way more successful and happy season as you climb through the rankings. Alternatively, if you're running a hair bird, I think that you can switch out your midliner. Let's say you're running the aqua at the midline, which was a very popular build last season and this season as well. Once again, you can switch this bad boy out for one of these like gravel, scaly spoon, gravel, cactus, hot soon, cactus, I think all of those are good options. I would avoid sacrificing your bird if you're playing a double plant bird build like this versus reflectiles. You wanna try to keep that alive. One of the beautiful things about hot soon, and I think this is probably still the best option at the midline is a hot soon plant, is that you get to turn off scaly spoon on the reflectile, which is the horn part that reflects ranged damage. So if he hits into your plant, and you turn off his uh, scaly spoon and then you just 
bomb him with some bird damage, your bird's actually gonna stay alive at the same time. So I hope that this video gave you a ton of options on things that you can do to start having more success. And you know, just be patient, like keep practicing. Eventually you'll start to get the hang of it versus the reflectiles. Keep fighting, keep climbing. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.